Hello, so we bought this Westinghouse iGen 2800 inverter generator. I use Honda generators at work, I like them a lot, but they are very expensive. And so I found this Westinghouse and I thought this would be worth trying. It's a very similar size to Honda, it is slightly bigger, however you do get a lot more watts out of it. It's a 2800 watt peak, 2200 uh, constant or running watts. There's some nice features on it, it's got a nice little display on it. Um, it is a 20 amp circuitry on it, but it does not give you a 30 amp RV port. So if you're going to be using this for an RV, you're going to have to either use just a 20 amp plug or you're going to have to find a different generator. You can use this similar to the Hondas in parallel ports, so you can take two of these and double your watts. Um, and it does have some nice little USB ports uh, to charge your phones on. It's got a nice little digital display which goes through uh, a couple things like how much fuel you have, uh, what's the load, what how many kilowatts you're using, and uh, it is pretty quiet. It's uh, down to 52 decibels, um, which is pretty close to what the Honda runs at. Uh, they give you everything in the bag as you can see here. It gives you all the oil you need. Um, it takes 10W30 and uh, it'll run up to 10 hours um, in eco mode. During our testing it would run our motorhome uh, AC uh, pretty well which uh, pulls just under 20 amps and uh, we've been very pleased with it but I'll show you uh, our initial startup and how that went. So we got the generator out here. We're going to start it for the very first time. Inside the box they give you some oil. The exact amount that you need to fill It's uh, 0.4 liters. So the instructions say that the eco mode should be turned off. The load, I'm just using a little space heater here, needs to be shut off. You take your dial, move it all the way down to the choke position. Make sure your circuit breaker is uh, reset. We'll start it, then we'll move this to the run position, then we can turn on our space heater. We'll see how it starts. Heater now we'll start at 1200 watts. Now we'll kick it up to 1500. So I want to give my final thoughts on this generator. We actually experienced a power outage where we were without power for uh, about 10 hours or so. And uh, we ran this the whole time. This little thing powered both our fridge, which is a large fridge, it's a dual compressor fridge, and it kept our deep freezer running as well, plus uh, be able to charge our phones and a few things like that. And it had no problem doing that. Uh, this thing definitely saved us uh, when we had that power outage. We had a lot of meat down in our deep freeze. A lot of food that would have spoiled so this thing uh, at that time was worth its weight in gold you know do i recommend this over a honda uh, i i would say so um, it starts very easily it's not quite always a one pull start sometimes it's a two or three pull start if it's been over you know a couple weeks since i ran it but you could buy you know uh, two almost three of these for what the hondas get and these can still also run in parallel so if you wanted to you could buy a little parallel kit that hooks up basically um, through these and you can get uh, a lot more juice out of two of them and you could get uh, two of these for really the price of one of those Hondas so uh, final thoughts um, I think this is an awesome little generator it saved us a lot I think we're gonna probably buy a second one and uh, wire our house to have an inlet box so you can run both of these and uh, get a little more juice out of it and power more circuits in your house. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.